Hello friends, I am Dennisy, and uh, we are playing some more on Minecraft The Den. Uh, can I sleep, please? It, it, it looks like it's nighttime, come on. Oh, I, I, I keep on forgetting that I <laughs> need to, I need to use my resource pack. I turn it off because uh, it's easier to chop down trees and uh, no, 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 that is the better leaves. I take off my resource pack because it's easier to harvest crops, um, especially potatoes because because they don't really change that much in the in my resource pack when they grow up, so it's just easier. Uh, with my, uh, with that, my resource pack to just do a little bit of farming, but it looks a lot better with my resource pack. Um, but yeah, I, I just need to remember to... ...put it back on when I've been doing some, um, crops farming. Uh, today I got a plan. Last episode we were working on this melon pumpkin farm. I don't think it looks bad, and there, there's a few things I need to finish off, but it's mostly... ...mostly finished that I, I wanna go in and add a few details, like I wanna add some bricks into the walls and that kind of good stuff. Um, I wanna get some dark oak wood and maybe uh, see if I can make some of the other wood kind of... Um, ...dried out, sort of, like... Like the sun has burnt out at the original color or something. I, I, I'm gonna figure it out. I haven't done anything on the inside, so um, I, I'm not gonna do anything special on the inside either. I may set up some walls, uh, like a um, trapdoor wall, just to kind of get not have all of this shown when we come in here to fetch some uh, resources and that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna add a second floor. We're not gonna do it this episode. We're, we're gonna add a second floor. The entrance is gonna be up here, I'm thinking. And uh, up there, we're gonna have a little bit of a sugarcane farm. Not, not a big one, but enough to make sure that we get food and we can get paper and that kind of good stuff. And I'm also considering to capture a couple of cows and have a little bit of a cow farm over here because it's an uh, it's an agricultural town. They need some they need some animals as well, in my opinion. But today, you see, we are going to do a little bit of an end raid because I think we we need to do a little bit of uh, end work. Uh, we, we don't have any shulker boxes, and I would like to have one, you know? So we're just gonna go ahead and throw some of this stuff in here. We're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves one bucket of water, and we should be good to go. Let's grab this one, and uh, that should be it. We have, our, we have our elytra. We don't have any protection, so we may... We're, we're not gonna be very protected against uh, the shulker themselves but i do oh, oh, oh uh, i don't i don't have any arrows with me i need to go back because uh, we have a bow in our uh, oh come on we have a bow in our ender chest but i didn't bring any arrows so we just need to quickly fetch some of those there we go i think our bow has infinity on it yeah, it does. Good. And then we need some uh, blocks we can climb with, so I think we're just gonna take those, because we need to get up to the portal to get into the end islands. Now, I'm sure you guys have been doing this a few times and know how to do this, but uh, look at that. I guessed he hasn't noticed us. We're gonna go ahead and jump down here. I would have cried if my wings didn't open there. Oh, that would have been bad. But one thing that I'm going to do... <coughs> <coughs> I think I'm starting to get a bit sick. I'm sorry about that. Um, I, I forgot what I was thinking about. Um, yeah, um, I'm sure you guys have done this before, gone to the end, and 
uh, done some end raiding, but in case some of you haven't, if this is your first time kind of seeing an end raid of some sort, I'm, I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do it. Uh, and also keep in mind that uh, you're not supposed to have an elytra until you get to an end city. I have one because I have data packs installed allowing me to get uh, an elytra upon the dragon's death. I, I just feel like it it doesn't necessarily make sense that he drops wings, but um, as you can see, I've been spending some time around here uh, grinding some experience points because it's so much quicker than using a zombie spawner. So, uh, and so I'm gonna set up an end render at some point. Not today though. I just went back home. How, Dennessy? Oh no! Do not go through that portal because that'll take you back home. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing, Dennessy? Okay, let's uh, get back to... I think it's supposed to be over here somewhere. Nope. I don't think it's too far away from... This. There it is. No, that's... That's... That's another portal. Okay. Let's just get up. Uh, that was almost the lava. I can't believe I did that. I jumped through the wrong portal. Oh. Why did I do that? Dennessy, what are you doing, man? Just took a sip of my coffee. Oh. That's gonna make the episode even longer. Why did I do that? Oh. You know, sometimes you do a derp. And that is... As long as it's an occasion... You know, that that's just human. If I do that again, I'm just stupid. <laughs> <coughs> so let's make sure that we don't do this again. Now, we are heading to that portal over there. There are some experience points here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. I just repaired my shovel instead of instead of getting experience points. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so, we are gonna go ahead and get up to this portal here. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and go like this. Now, if you don't get through the portal the first time you go through, uh, there is a very good reason for that. And uh, because I were watching a um, video the other day where someone were trying to get through the portal, but they weren't able to. Uh, so they um, kind of tried to... I, I went too far away from the edge here. That's fine. That they, like, try to throw it straight through. Now, you can't do that. That's not how it works. You gotta throw it up on the edge of these uh, bedrock blocks. Otherwise, the uh, ball will just go straight through and land in the um, void. And th then you don't get through. So, you need to throw it like so. Now, one thing I'm gonna do... Because I don't trust my uh, instance, I'm going to restart the world, go back in, and uh, start flying. Because I've had problems in Petrium, where I go through the nether, and then into the overworld, and then to the end, and then through that portal, and then it's just too much for my instance, and uh, my wings don't deploy. And that, that means that you may fall into the void. But, if you just restart the world after going through, it should be good enough. Now, let's see. Is there any end cities close by? That would be the best, in my personal opinion. You may also notice that I'm, I don't have 46 levels anymore. And that is because a creeper came up to me and killed me. <laughs> so, I lost all my levels. 
and I've been gathering, uh, I've been trying to get Unbreaking on my pickaxes. Because I've been playing without. And they've been dying really fast, so it was cheaper for me to just go ahead and get some um, Unbreaking and um, make sure that they can live longer. Now, where is an end city? There's still none here. I also want to make sure that I keep myself above the islands and not flying too much above um, the void because flying above the void make it, can make it seem like you're much farther up than what you actually are. And that may make you fly straight into the void and die and lose all of your stuff. That's uh, that's something that I have learned the hard way. Oh, there it is. Does it also have a ship? I don't think so. It doesn't look like so. But that's okay, because we do have an elytra, but it would be nice to have one in the backup. So let's get to the entrance here. There we go. Yep. Ah, how? What? How did it get me? I were standing perfectly safe. Now, one of the data packs I do have installed makes sure that uh, the shulker always drops at least two shulker shells. So we already have four, meaning that we can make two shulker boxes. So that is pretty amazing. Um, all of the data packs that I'm using, you can download over at susumavoid.com, I think. I haven't made any of them myself, but I am going to try to make a um, make a modification on one um, on one data pack that Susuma has made, which basically adds in the debug stick, which you can use against. Um, oh, I were not paying any attention. Okay. Uh, which makes it so that you can use the debug stick on terracotta. Uh, and I want to modify it so that you can use it on um, fences. No, not fences, but um, yeah, fences. Uh, I almost said fence gates. Um, but um, so you can use them on fences and you can get... Um, ah, no. Oh, this is a room full of shulkers. Okay. Okay, can I at least get up here? There we go. So we can land safe and get those shulker boxes down. But yeah, I, I want to make a modification to that so I can use the debug stick on fences and um, uh, stairs and maybe stairs. I I'll have to ask him. I'm uh, also modif modifying it for because I'm, I'm also going to give it to someone else when I've uh, modified it. Um, it may take some time because I have no idea what I'm doing with the data packs. Um, so I'm going to take the time that I need to use on it instead of rushing through it and not getting it working correctly. So I'm going to take my time, make sure that I'm able to actually write it and uh, get it that way. I, once I have modified it, I will ask Susuma if I can share it. Because the original code wouldn't be mine. So I, I'm not in the liberty of sharing it wide. I can't upload it and call it my own. Uh, what I could do is send it to him and be like, Hey, I did this as well. But uh, I, I don't really have any contact with Susuma. Oh, it's not like I talked to him. <laughs> So I can't really... I, I don't know how to reach out to him about that if I do it, but, um... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, it's very likely that I won't even be able to because I'm uh, not a very good coder in my own opinion. Like, I've been able to do a couple of things with... I didn't die. 
Oh, hello there. Ow. Now, one more thing that I would kind of want to do is I want to be hit by a, um, a shulker so I can float high above the ground because that's an advancement. There we go. I think there's supposed to be one more around here. But we are getting some at least, and that's good. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna fly. Because I want to get to that building and see if maybe there's any more shulkers alive. There is. Okay, so if I get this guy right here, I can still go for the one on the top. There we go. And then I'm just gonna... Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. Calm down. There we go. Ow. That really hurt. Because I would like to... Get the advancement? Can it... Can you hit me? Nope. Okay. Hit me. And what is the... Levitate 50 blocks from the attacks of a shulker. Okay. I, I just want to get it because I think I can get that advancement and land safely. Five, four, three, two, one. And there it stops. Okay. I'm not getting the ed. Uh. <laughs> that was too close, man. That was too close. That could have been mm, that could have been really bad. Okay, there we go. I think I've cleared out this city now. Maybe. And I'm not gonna spend any more time. Because that I I I, I kind of want to get back to safety. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get home in on the legitimate way. Meaning that we're going to find us a new... Um, a new portal. Like the, the portal that we uh, came through. I don't remember which way it was. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find a new one. And... Um, get home that way because that portal will lead us back to the portal at the main island where we can jump through the portal and get back home that way oh there's another city let's see if there is a there's not a ship here either i was thinking that if there had been a ship here oh i'm not reaching that okay if there had been a uh, ship here we would Go through it, fetch ourselves a new elytra, because it's nice to have something in backup, you know? But I do see there's a treasure room here. So this room here should have a few chests. Um, unbreaking, a knockback, depth strider, yes please. And protection. Ooh, unbreaking, yes. I will take that, I will take those pants. <laughs> now we can... <coughs> we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna go ahead and um, find us a new portal. So we're gonna change out these pants because these are better. Another end city! That's really small though. We're not gonna go through it. We already have a few shulker shells. We're gonna get a few shulker boxes out of that. Uh, so I am pleased. I'm very pleased. I'm very happy about that. Now, if only we can find a portal, that would be very beneficial, because... Hmm... 
I don't know. What I should have done as well is you can fly back to the main portal. Uh, so if you write down the coordinates for the main island, you can uh, actually fly back. Instead of scouting for a portal like I'm doing right now, or throwing all of your stuff in an ender chest and jump down to the void and get spawned in your home, that's also an option. But I don't want to do that. I want to do this the legitimate way. I always jump to my death to get home from the end. Unless I can help it. Um, but I'm not gonna be spending too much time in the nether... In, no, in the end, in the future. Uh, simply because... Well, I, I have one project I'm going to do, which is the end render. But other than that, I don't think we're going to do too much in this uh, dimension, actually. Another thing. This guy. He is superb to have. We're going to grab a couple of these so we can grow some of them as well. And then we're going to keep on flying and see if we can find a portal. If I can't find one... And then, of course, I'm going to jump to my death, because I want to get home. <laughs> I don't want to be stranded here. Um, but that is only if we can't find a portal back to main island. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm not... I'm not... Oh, there we go. That's a portal. That's how we can tell it's a portal, because it lights up like that, like a beacon, when you're far away. So we're just going to go ahead and do that, and we're going to go ahead and do that, and we are back here. Oh, it actually teleports you to... Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that. So, we made it back. We can simply go back up here. Oh. Experience points. I'm gonna pick you up. Come here. There's some more right here. There's some more right here. I want it all. Okay. And I think that is actually all the time we have for this episode. But before we finish off, I want to make a few shulker boxes with you guys. This means that I am now able to... Um, go mining and get some good stuffs with me awesome okay we, that, that was actually quite a lot <laughs> i didn't expect it to be this much but we got them and that is what matters let's see here we go and yeah i think we're just gonna use five to begin with and then we can kind of store the others and kind of have them on the in, in backup, sort of, and I'm also gonna go ahead and plant this guy, because with this... Oh no, I didn't use Silk Touch! Ah! Oh, I need to go back. And that's not the worst thing, though. Uh, but, with that, we can kind of make end rods and that kind of good stuff, so that is gonna be amazing. But... We are out of time for this episode. We got some shulker boxes. This is awesome. Now I feel we are ready to tackle this world. 11 episodes in, and uh, we have been to all dimension. We have gotten the most important stuffs. Elytra, shulker boxes, potions, or the ability to make potions. Uh, we're, uh, I'm, I'm, now there's only a few things that we're still missing. Uh, the, we, we need a super smelter, we need an automatic potato farm, automatic uh, po uh, carrot farm, and an automatic kelp farm. And there's probably some more farms that I'm not considering, because uh, maybe I just don't know about them. Um, I'm not gonna do a automatic cacti, cacti farm, because I, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we do at some point, make a area that uses the 
color green. We, we probably will do that at some point, so maybe uh, maybe a cacti farm wouldn't be too bad. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you again for watching. <laughs> okay, bye bye.